Hi there guys, got a video here for you today on an Air Max Tran and what we're going to be doing in this one is giving this rifle a full range test talking through some of the things we like about it, what needs to be changed as well as sort of getting a benchmark overall performance level of the rifle so recurring viewers of the channel will note that we did have a blue laminate version a little while ago that was a rifle we borrowed off a friend and we liked it so much that we actually went out and bought one we went for the red laminate version they do this rifle in green, red, blue and also a black tactical finish. And there are also some very nice full laminate backstocks that are going to be coming out to replace the folding adapter currently fitted on this rifle. And I'm very much looking forward to getting my hands on one of them. But before we get into all of that I just want to say a big shout out to the lads over at Crawley Surplus Store. So this isn't a sponsored video or nothing like that. We do buy all our own equipment, all our own rifles, no one gives us nothing but they do perform an absolutely fantastic service. The shop there is well maintained, well stocked, it's got everything you could ever want. The people in there are friendly and it's a really good atmosphere. They stock everything from your budget end springers all the way up to your FX's, your Day States, your Air Max. They even had some Eurogans in there when we was looking. So a fantastic range of stuff. And if you haven't been down there before, you really do need to check it out. That being said, I'll show you the setup down the range and we'll also show you some shooting footage. What I thought we'd do first is just take a look at our setup down the range. So we've got the rifle on the sandbags there. Next to it we've got a wide selection of pellets. Every single one of them tins was put through the rifle. We made a short list of the best ones, then the best ones were put head to head with one pellet coming out on top. We've got the chrono there. And then finally, all the way down the range, 50 yards, is our targets. Once we'd tested all the pellets, found our best one. In our case it was JSB Express. It was time to move on to the shooting. Whilst you're seeing the groups, I thought we'd just talk briefly about the shooting experience, what we liked and what we didn't like about the rifle. The mechanics of the rifle really do work well. The shot cycle is very, very smooth. There's no notchiness, no grouchiness. The cocking effort is lovely and light. And because the hammer is a lever system, the trigger can be fantastically light. So operating and shooting a rifle really does feel nice, as does the magazine. So we tested the magazine against a single shot loader and found very, very little difference at all. I think there was a slight edge when using the single shot loader, but 90% of the time you would never be able to tell the difference between loading from a mag and loading from a single shot loader. So that's a very good sign. Shows that the mags are working correctly and there's no problems with alignment or anything like that. As you saw at the beginning there, we did have the chrono set up. We did do a full shot string of the rifle. This particular rifle is the Catran C, the compact version, and it's 177 calibre. And from a 250 bar fill, we was getting around 89 shots. Although this is only a 165cc air cylinder, so not a fantastically high shot count, although I'm confident we can improve on that in the future. Over those 89 shots, the maximum feet per second deviation was 13. Over a whole shot string, that's nothing to be sniffed at, and I'm happy that the regular is working as it should. But I'm confident with a little bit of work, we'll be able to increase the shot count, and also shave a little bit over the extreme FPS deviation. Right then, on to the bad points. If I'm honest, there isn't really much I can complain about with this rifle. The grip's a little thin, and the buttstock's a little spindly, but if I'm honest, it's not really designed as a bench rest rifle. It would be much more at home in the field, out hunting or something like that, so I'm really not using it to its strengths. Having said that though, it wasn't uncomfortable and wasn't unusable. The back was a little wobbly, but there is a technique to shoot in the rifle, and after a couple hours with it, you get used to it and really start to pull it in and get some tighter groups. Other than that though, we put around 1500 shots through it that day and the rifle performed flawlessly. Really impressed with the little Catran and I'm really looking forward to see what Air Max does in the future. It's definitely one of those manufacturers that's going to grow. But I'll bring you back to the bench and we'll take a look at the target. Right then, hopefully from that little bit of shooting footage you can see exactly how good this little rifle was out the box. We've done absolutely no work to it. All we've done is mounted a scope, cleaned the barrel through and adjusted the length of the pull. But apart from that, it's exactly how it came out of the box. So I've got the targets here. So this one is the one we shot for the camera. So if we look, these ones at the top here are sighters just to get the scope in and to make sure we was using the right pellets. And then these 16 groups here were the ones we shot. The average edge to edge group 179 millimeters edge to edge and if we were to take out the flyers the erratic ones that brought the average down to 15.5 mil so from an out of the box rifle that's absolutely fantastic and that was using unweighed unsorted pellets straight out of the tin into a magazine 
So probably if we used a single shot loader that might have even tightened up a little. So over the moon with how this thing performed straight out of the box. Right then, so before you go I just thought we'd talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing with the rifle on the channel. So first things first, I think we're going to be making a new shroud. This one looks very nice, but it doesn't really quieten down the rifle that much. It's quite noisy and even with a moderator attached, it still does have a little bit of a bark. So we're going to be making a nice new carbon fibre shroud, hopefully to quieten it down a little. And obviously we'll be sticking a half inch UNF so we can add additional moderation onto it. The next thing we're going to be doing is having a look at the barrel and maybe giving it a little bit of a polish. We were seeing a couple extra flyers on the shooting results and normally when that's the case the barrel could use a little bit of a polish. They do normally wear in but polishing just speeds the process up and also makes it so that you have to clean the barrel less often. So we'll be having a look at that and then finally what we need to do is have a look at the shot count. So we're getting about 80 or 90 shots out of this rifle as it stands now and I'd like to see if we can bump that up. Now it is a very very short cylinder and a very short barrel and normally that's a recipe for disaster when it comes to efficiency but we're going to be having a look at it and seeing what we can do. Apart from that we'll be doing our usual tricks to it so we'll be giving it a full disassembly, a full looking over, we'll have a look inside see if we can sort out some bits and pieces inside, maybe some little upgrades we're thinking of doing a nice little rotating cocking handle for it. I think that will really work well. But the overall first experience of the rifle is extremely good. This is one of, if not the best rifle that we've actually just taken out of the box and shot. Right then guys, that's going to about do it for this one. So again, big shout out to Crawley Surplus Store. Again, not a sponsored video or anything like that. They're just a good group of lads and they provide a really nice service. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.